It is day 19 now of the historic criminal trial against former President Donald Trump in New York City. The prosecution expected to rest its case soon after a redirect examination of Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen. ABC's Rena Roy has more from outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. The prosecution resting its case in Donald Trump's historic hush money trial. Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, their final witness. In a heated exchange, Cohen admitting on the stand that he stole from the Trump organization when he requested a $50,000 reimbursement for IT services. Cohen had actually paid just $20,000. The former president shaking his head and pursing his lips during this testimony. In their redirect examination, prosecutors trying to bolster Cohen's credibility after the defense tried to paint it. Him as a liar who's out for revenge. The prosecution taking on what might have been the most effective piece of the cross-examination when defense attorney Todd Blanche said Cohen lied about an October 2016 phone call with Trump to finalize the Stormy Daniels payout. Cohen testifying he did indeed speak to Trump about Daniels on that call. There was a brief argument in court over two images prosecutors want jurors to see from C-SPAN video on the day Cohen says he spoke to Trump showing Trump with his bodyguard. Those images ultimately allowed. The defense now getting their turn, calling Daniel Sitko to the stand, a paralegal for the defense team, followed by Bob Costello, a longtime Trump ally who Cohen testified offered to represent him after the FBI raided his home and hotel in 2018. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside of court, chaotic moments when the large political entourage with Trump stepped out to speak. I'm Alan Wilson. I'm the Attorney General for South Carolina. Protesters clashing, some screaming, trying to drown out Trump's surrogates. Trump has pleaded not guilty to falsifying business records and has denied any sexual encounter with Daniels. They have no case. They have no crime. It's covered in the book as legal expense. I had nothing to do with it. The bookkeeper put it down as a legal expense.